Gray found a little bit of room. Clark wide open. Wilson couldn't get it. Agumba Wale has Burton ahead of her. But she's going all the way. Clark got a hand on it. And then stripped the ball away. <laughs> wow. What a finish. Agumba Wale with the foul. And Jackie Young very slow getting up. There was a lot of contact. She was tied up with Tierra McCowan. Okay, she's reaching for that elbow. She's up, but she's gonna go down after this rebound. Tierra McCowan nearly comes down on her foot. And then Clark falls up, is pushed out of bounds. Oh, goodness. Just the first foul on Agumba Wale. Clark heads to the line. First trip tonight for her. Jump into the playoffs with the WNBA app. Unlock pregame arrivals, real time highlights, live post game interviews, cadets game replays, behind the scenes stories. Scan the QR code on your screen right now to get the WNBA app. Latricia Trammell opting to go with a little bit more speed and versatility, subbing in side to side for Tierra McCowan, although she's had a tremendous game. Clark, one of two at the line. Both teams leaving some money at the free throw line. Big time. Mm -hmm. like that. With the slimmest of leads. Howard picked up her dribble. And then the errant pass. Somehow, Kawir was able to get it back. Agumba Wale. Back rim, Clark with the rebound. Every possession so dear right now. Dallas has gone cold, missing their last seven shots. Gray, blue by Burton, and well, then Sobley went the wrong way, and Howard saved it with the block. Natasha what a play Howard. by Natasha Howard, Ooh. literally. Burton left open. Dallas certainly has had its opportunities. It's almost like the Joker. Is that a smirk on Chelsea Gray's face? That is the look of a stone cold killer to me. Mm -hmm. Let's see what she does. Huge, huge possession. And she threw it to the second row. Similar to the first regular season matchup. This thing is coming down to the final possessions. We'll take a quick timeout. Great finish coming up. A lot on the line in Arlington. So the Aces had a chance to pad their lead on the last possession, but you don't usually see Chelsea Gray do this. No, this is out of character for her, but credit Awak Kawir coming over almost like she's playing volleyball, right? Chelsea's trying to get that pass over her outstretched arms, and it sails out of bounds. Dallas led this game 61-53. They've gone over four minutes without a point. They've missed their last eight shots from the floor. But they're only down by one. Out of the timeout. Agumba Wale, guarded by Young. Howard was open for a moment. Arike. Nope, huge rebound. But then Sobley and McCowan tie up Asia Wilson. Terrific tie up by the wings. I told, again, I said this in game two, I absolutely understand why Asia would be frustrated, but man, you don't want a short whistle in terms of some of the extra conversation afterward. You gotta be careful. I get it. But I actually think this is a pretty good tie-up. Okay, maybe before the jump, I understand why she's frustrated. McCowan and Wilson, just under 12 seconds left. McCowan taps it out to Burton, who immediately calls oh, a timeout. Man. Took a couple of seconds yeah, to get it, right? So the Wigs have the ball with an opportunity to get a basket, but they've missed their last nine shots from the floor. Yeah, the Aces defense 
is beginning to tighten up, and they've done a much better job rebounding. While the margin is eight in terms of rebounds on the ball game, or excuse me, it's actually shrunk from eight. It's down to three. In this quarter, it was 14-12 prior to that possession in favor of the Wings. And so you heard Becky Hammond tell Roz, if y'all don't rebound, we're going to game four. The Aces understood that. Now, in this half court, obviously they're going to be guarding Arike Agubawale very closely. It wouldn't shock me if we saw some of that box and one activity or if we saw a man-to-man -man in which Arike got trapped and they were willing to live with what may happen. Nine seconds left. Sobley inbounds. Howard McCowan. Burton. The, in the inbound is just as important as anybody on the floor. Sachi's going to have to make a good pass. And then you don't want to lose her once the ball is inbounded. Got to communicate on these screens if you're the aces. Probably gets it in, quickly got it back. Howard for the lead, way off. Jackie Young grabs the rebound and holds onto it for dear life. So well, it's a well executed play. Natasha Howard got a look. She's hit two threes in this ball game. Ball goes back to Natasha, or sadly, Natasha cuts right up the gut of that defense. She got a look. 2.7 seconds left. Asia running out hard to contest, understanding all that's on the line. Young two for two at the line tonight. And the Wings have one more timeout, so even if this goes down, they'll have the opportunity to advance. Jackie Young to gigantic free throws. But, as you pointed out, there's the timeout. It's only a three-point game. Dallas has no timeouts remaining. All right, so we saw them try the three with Howard. What do you think now? You're going to look for Arike Agumbawale. She's got a history of knocking down big shots. All right, we're going to try to listen in to the Dallas huddle. Okay, ready? Here you just get out of there, Howard. Get out of there. Look to hit her. We need a three. Look to hit her. I know what I'm saying. If it's not there, you've got to hit her. Are you with me? If not, Rike's going to step in. See, when he, as soon as she goes, you've got to step in and go. Are you with me on that? Good. Here we go. They play it. Burton going to inbound. They put Asia Wilson on the ball with her length. I mean, they could put 6-7, six, 6-7 seven, six, seven on the line if they foul, and then you're fighting for a rebound off of a free throw. So, no, I'm definitely not fouling. Okay, Goombawale under the basket, guarded by Jackie Young. She's held up a little bit. Arike contested shot. That is it. Sobley got the follow, but not in time. Dallas did not score for the last four minutes and 59 seconds of this game. It's an 11-0 Las Vegas run, and the defending champs sweep Dallas, but the Dallas Wings, until that last five minutes, played the best game of this series, but just not enough, one play short. It's almost irony, second look. More than one time this season covering this Aces squad, Becky Hammond has said, I'm not worried about offense. It's our defense. And a trip to the finals comes down to this team's ability to defend on a final possession and rebound, particularly over the course of the fourth quarter. Dallas shot only 32% from the floor, 7 of 15 from the free throw line. So they came up short.